welcome to tonight's video recap. We hope you enjoy everything that we're bringing to you tonight. So Jenny Gurku all the way down from Queensland with two super horses and has had a fantastic show here at Tamworth at the New South Wales State Championships with both her horses, Lord Kingsley and Senator Nymphenberg, both beautiful horses, both of them. I I'm a lucky saw them girl. Willinga. I don't see them so much because you're from Queensland. But here you had a fantastic show with Lord Kingsley, champion medium horse. Champion advanced and reserve oh, champion advanced, sorry. medium on account back. Yeah. Oh, fantastic. So tell me a little bit, bit about him. Kingsley was um, a licensed stallion um, until just before we saw him um, near the Dutch-German border. Um, Brett Parbury's friends, Yetta and Klaas, um, showed him to us and he'd recently been gelded and um, I think he'd been a little difficult as a stallion, so the breeders brought him back. But I, I rode him and I, I felt that I I thought I can ride this horse, and and um, I believed in him. And he was, he's he was difficult for very stallion-y for the first um, couple of years. But he's so smart and so brave, and and such a lovely type of horse that I, I feel that just now he's starting to show what he's got. And um, I know, he's a he's a beautiful looking horse as well, and oh, he's full such a character. Horse. Yeah. <laughs> so I, you know, someone uh, Matthew asked me who my favourite was uh, just last week, and I, I now I'm struggling. It was always Senator, but now I'm struggling to pick them. Yeah. <laughs> he's improved since since um, I saw him at Willinga Park. Yeah, he's really so what grown up. What you put that to, down to? Uh, I think he just and I've got really great help with Tracy Baldwin and um, Tessa Frank from Germany, and Tessa was the one that. Ex she rode him for me and when she was here and she said you have to be very sensitive even though you feel like you need to be tough because he wasn't wasn't good off your leg initially and now he he really is and I so I changed the way I rode a little bit yeah you have to be clear but mostly really sensitive and um, and smart when you ride him so he respects I've kept a sense of fun with the horse um, but he respects me now so um, he started to try and he didn't before so um, yeah, yeah it's coming along it's fantastic and um Senator Nymphenberg uh, the golden child <laughs> <laughs> Senator's very sensitive and... Um, yeah, he's not like the other one. No, they are as opposite as you Do you find get. it hard to change from one to the other? Uh, no. Um, and no, I, I, uh, Tessa said to me, don't ask me to find you a horse because I couldn't say what you like because these two are <laughs> polar opposites. But um, uh, no, because they both have different strengths. And uh, Senator tries his heart out for me every minute of the day. And Probably it, a bit too hard. It took a long time for me to teach him that it was okay to make a mistake. And mistakes were part of learning, just to stay relaxed in the work and train on and make the mistakes and get better. But um, he was lovely today and um, we had a one one little mistake but he stayed calm and um yeah he's he's delightful I, I, probably is my favorite <laughs> <laughs> don't say that don't say it in front of kingsley no, no exactly it. kingsley yeah. be really I mean, because upset. i feel that senators are sort of i need to protect him a bit because he's he's uh he's he, is, he is sensitive but he's yeah, a darling he is sensitive. but i mean you know it's all very well to say that but when you get to grand prix as you know from having other grand prix horses that you've schooled and trained you need that sensitivity absolutely and i, I but i think that's been my goal with kingsley is to make him sensitive and and i don't i don't ride him with force and he it was convincing him to be self propelled and and motivated and take me around the test rather than the other way around so um, yeah, King, Kingsley certainly has a wonderful brain. He's so brave, and uh, but Senator has that natural hind leg, natural hock, and, and if anything, I get a bit guilty of not asking him to use it enough. So, what's his breeding, Senator? He's he's by Steinberg. He's a Westphalian. Bred here? Uh, no, bred in Germany as well. Uh huh. 
And, um, they're both imported? Both imported at the same time. And owned by? They're owned by Rose Dio and myself. And my um, friend Rose um, is absolutely the best sponsor you could ever hope for. She's a wonderful, wonderful friend and a kind, generous heart and is in this because she loves horses and loves the sport and is oh, so that's enthusiastic. What you've got to, that's what you do have to love, really, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, absolutely. Because it's not always... It, the result isn't always as you expect and sometimes it's, it's really important that you absolutely love what you're doing and love your horse and love how he's gone and oh, sure. it's irrelevant of the mark. Uh, and Rose never puts any pressure on me to, to do well. She doesn't care so long as I'm having a good time and the horses are happy and it, really she's a dream, a dream owner. Really fantastic. Jenny, it's been, you've been long at the sport and hard and you've done all the hard yards and you're really reaping the benefits. So, of all those benefits for people out there that are trying to get to the sport to the level that you are now, what would you suggest that they focus on? I, I think that it's really important that we remember that we do this because we love horses. And for me, it's, it's loving riding every day. It's loving the training. It's, it's, the shows are just a chance to show off your training and, and get together with your friends. It's the day-to-day -day grind being fun and being in, uh, keeping your enthusiasm at that level, I think, is the most important. And obviously, the care of the horses has mm. to be. The horses have to come first. The and, horses and the always horse look has, fantastic. They have to always enjoy. look fantastic. Oh, and thank really you. happy. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, they really do. And today was exceptional. And your whole competition here has been great. Thanks. Because I'm not too sure that the New South Wales people are going to be so happy that you came down and beat them. Oh, I, you know, I had a small gloat with Brett last night because it doesn't happen very often and I'm sure he'll mop the floor with me next time he sees me. So. <laughs> no. Jenny, thank you so much for your time and have a really safe trip home. Thanks, And Roger. so fantastic to see you and thanks for your great comments. Oh, thank you very much. Pleasure. So a long way from Melbourne here at Tamworth for State Championships with the beautiful Donna Elena. Just back from a super warm-up session. Marie, um, welcome to Tamworth. The facilities are pretty good, huh? Facilities are fantastic. We came here some years ago now with Rodrigo and Diamantina. Um, and yeah, it was a beautiful facility then. And now that they've got the new ebb and flow, ebb and flow surfaces, it's just fantastic. Yeah. So um, what brought you all the way to Tamworth? So Donna needs to get a little bit of um, experience, competition experience. So she hasn't done a competition since the Sydney CDI because, well, we don't have any except for the small ones. And the small ones she's perfectly good at. It's just in those big arenas with a bit of an atmosphere. She's a baby and she's only done two. And yeah, we just need to get her a bit seasoned. I'd love to do an outdoor season in Europe, but that's not going to happen, is it? <laughs> well, you never know. There's still time. There's always next year. Yeah. So, um, so I guess you've got eye on the prize for next year. Um, not really. You know, they say the definition of insanity is to do <laughs> same the same thing. thing and expect a different outcome. So, since I'm doing the same thing, I don't really expect a different outcome. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just enjoying my horse. I think that it's an amazing horse. Um, you know, you think that Diamantina was the horse of a lifetime and then Donna comes along and her character and trainability make her, and, um, and her obvious talent, make her just an unbelievable horse and I really think she has world-class potential and I hope it's allowed to be realised in our country. It would be nice if I didn't have to take her overseas, so hopefully yeah. we can realise it here. Yeah, I'm sure. There'll be events in tomorrow afternoon, the Grand Prix for you, which is great. And I can see you here by yourself, no groom. I've got my husband with me. <laughs> and That's a rarity. He's looking after our child, Henry, the three-legged dog. So, um, you yeah, know, Paul's been great. He's, um, he's come along with me, a bit of country music, and uh, he's looking after the child. Fantastic. So, um, are you still... Um, Mare looks fantastic, I'm going to say, and uh, her coat out there today was like incredible. I'm thinking Barristock here, good yeah, old Barristock food. Yeah, of course, food. and it's so nice because we have Diamantina on the back, so it's sort of like I feel like Kieran Perkins with my name <laughs> on my milk. So exactly, I've got my name on the bag, so we bring Diamantina with us yeah. wherever we go. And so. what's she doing out of interest? Diamantina, yep. she's the same as always. She gets ridden first off the rank in the morning, and her routine hasn't changed. So, um, yeah, no, she's really good. Look for her, it was a bit 
it's a little bit of a similar thing. She competed all over the world and, you know, bringing her back to Australia, we, it was, she's a very difficult horse indoors. And, you know, at that time, all our competitions had that freestyle indoors at night. And yeah. it was not something that she could cope with. So, you know, my options were to leave her in Europe, sell her, or bring her home and just leave her alone. Otherwise, it was a bit of a lottery. Some days, you know, in an outdoor arena, she was great. And then if we had to do it in the indoor or whatever, you know, it was it was a lottery. And I just thought she'd done enough. She didn't owe me anything more. She's given me beautiful foals and she she did Special. more than I ever dreamed she could have done. Mm. So That's fantastic. Well, look, all the very best of luck. And if it's anything like it was out there in the warm up, it's going to be very flash, I can tell you. So. All the very best of luck with her and have a safe trip back to Melbourne. Thank you. And I hope you do really well here and we look forward to seeing you in New South Wales and other competitions soon. Thanks, Rog. Thanks, Marie. Bye. So there was plenty of competition today in the lower level class. The novice classes here at Tamworth and the state championships were outstanding. And uh, pretty well filled up near the top of the list with several horses of Alexis and Elliot. Since you got back from Europe, it's like starting again from the bottom of the pack with horses that you've bred. And uh, how's it feeling in those novice classes? Oh, it's, I mean, it's good. Like we, we enjoy it because the horses that we've got here are either been bred by us but well, we own all of them so it's just nice that we, we've got little achievements not in just the ring but in, in, in the warm-up for us it's just little little things like you know some transitions that we're doing so well for us it's about you know the potential about going forward again back to that Grand Prix level and you know both of us want to sort of be up there and at least at FEI and I think we've got well, the horses we have here at least they're they're all um, showing really good potential for that so yeah. the aim is with all of yeah. them the aim is to produce produce them to grand prix yeah. um yeah. and yeah and, and you've got fun. doris day that's well on the way yeah yes. like from her young young class days yes. in a beautiful black mare and yeah. she's really improved her paces have really improved out of sight yeah but we've we've spent a lot of time developing her it's just and it's just the good old throughness and and rhythm repetition everything it's just it's not it's no it's not a miracle there's no nothing just sticking to the game plan yeah, every sticking day to the game plan and, and not expecting expecting too much but i think she's been a horse that really can prove that i think if you have you the right it. probably more so the right temperament the right willingness trainability to work and well i mean all, all your novice horses looked exactly like that from the outside of looking they were all very similar in the way they went, they were really confident, they looked like they were a little bit greenish, yeah. but they were really along the right way and really yeah. stepping up to the mark with yeah. lots of impulsion and enthusiasm, but not tension. It yeah. was, it was yeah. really, really nice, yeah. all of them. Yeah. We just want them adjustable. Like I guess yeah. the, even from even from the babies, like these ones are all five and six, so they're not they're not horses that are uh, mature in their body. We they're really, not seasoned. Competitors. Yeah, they're not seasoned. So. We don't take them to every show. We'd prefer to come down here on great surfaces that Tamworth is um, and travel travel the six hours, but it is a really, really good surface and just and adjust them around the arena so when they get to Grand Prix, it's not a you haven't got them to small tour and they've just been hunted and hunt, hunted the whole time we can actually we've already started to think about adjusting them um, from from the lower levels day one yeah, yeah. so yeah. so what was your best performed novice horse Ooh, yeah it's probably Valhalla the big guy is 18 three hands high he's by uh, Vitalis out of an imported Swedish mare the Lexus's mum Purchased. Purchased a few years back. Um, Lord Lachlan did pretty well he did a 72 and yeah he's a, oh, they're, they're, they're all, all sort of been yeah. a bit sort of you know and they're all very, very interestingly bred. Yeah. Have and, and different horses in their own right. But yeah. 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 They, they certainly are yeah. indeed. And um, you've imported one? Yeah, yeah. we've got a, a really cool little stallion. Uh, he's he's little. only three. <laughs> he's a bit little at the moment, but 
Alexis can ride. He's 16 one, so he's not. He's not so tiny. He's by Floris Count from a Ruben Royale Verta man. Oh yeah. right. Yeah. So we And he's ve he's very got a lovely temperament. Yeah. He's yeah. really is he really here? quiet. Yeah, he's yeah. in the country. Um, right. Right. And yeah, he's a he's a performance horse. It's not we haven't imported him for breeding or anything like that. Might be something later on, no, but down the, track. the focus is for him to be a performance yeah. horse. And um, yeah, he's got a very remarkable temperament. Fantastic. Very, it's very nice. Fantastic. That's exciting. Yeah. yeah. And what's yeah. next for you guys from here? Nationals, Nationals, I would say. Yeah. Um, this like year's been a little bit of a just a catch up year, and after Weg, like last year, trying to travel. You know, every every month we were going to a qualifier, so it was always you know, a week away every month. So this year nice has been be quite home. nice just to sort of do a couple of shows and not really spend too much time away from home. But then I think next year we've, with these horses here and also we've got uh, you know a few more four-year-olds coming through. Like the young horse season in the beginning of the year at least is going to be quite busy. Yep. Um, yeah, fun. Yeah. And so. just try and focus on getting Doris to a few more yeah. of these yeah. type shows. She's done two Prees and Georges now, so she's still only seven. Um, so yeah, she's still only seven. Yeah. So it's where did we finish in the Prees and George yesterday? Second. Second. Yeah. yeah. It was, it was fantastic. It was, yeah. it was a good class. Yeah. She's yeah. um she's she's very she's Such she's done quite well. Um, yeah. For she has. Seven you should be very old. proud of her. Yeah. We are. So yeah. well, we look forward to seeing you at the nationals. No doubt we'll catch up before yeah. then. So. Yeah. Uh, thanks for your time and Thank well you done with all those baby horses. Thank they you. really look super. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Thanks. Cheers, thanks, Alex. So I managed to catch up with Vicky Newham and Sally Rizzuto. Vicky and her husband Alan, owners of Diamond Star, Chestnut Horse, previously campaigned uh, for Olympic selection and WEG selection and now with Sally. So um, Vicky, tell us a little bit about the new direction with the beautiful Diamond Star. Okay, so Sally's just started doing the Grand Prix with him. She's done three Grand Prix now to date, um, this being her third, and we're going to try and enter all the CDIs um, for the future, everyone for the future. And, so, and take it as it comes and see where it goes? Yep, exactly. We will do the Nationals and we'll do Dressage with the Stars, and and we'll put our best foot forward. Yes. <laughs> and you've certainly done that already. You've got some great scores, Sally. And I mean, this is your first Grand Prix horse to ride. Yes, it is. Yeah, and before that, what level were you riding to? Um, I'd only previously ridden up to advanced with another one of Vicky's horses. Um, but yes, this is my first horse at the big tour level. You sort of take take it like a duck to water, really. It doesn't look, when I see you ride around the Grand Prix desert, it looks like you've done it all your life. <laughs> do, do you find it? Is it just another ride? Does it find, do you find it daunting? Um, I think that I was definitely nervous during my first Grand Prix, um, but I've been really lucky to have a great support system in Vicky, um, who always helps me warm up and everything, that it's been a really great experience so far. So, And, and for, I mean, one of the biggest things in dressage is Vicky's a, a been with dressage from way, way, way back from the Anne Honor days, and it's been an absolutely fantastic road, and it rode has. herself very successfully, and still rides. But um, the sport needs owners, and it, it needs really fun, good owners like like yourself and Alan. And to to be an owner of a Grand Prix horse like this, you've seen come up through the ranks, and it's been exciting, and then disappointing, and all the things that go along with uh, getting selected on Australian teams. Yep. And it's sort of like a bit of a kick in the ribs occasionally, but you just get up and keep going. So as an owner, what gives you great pleasure? What what obviously, enjoyment? What's what's the bit yeah, about owning a horse here? Obviously, it's my passion horses are my passion and I've always loved my horses and I just want to keep going and I want Diamond Star to keep going and I just want Sally to do a really good job. I mean look he's been campaigned really well previously and I couldn't have been happier with him and I'm now really happy to let Sally ride him and experience all those wonderful things of riding Grand Prix. So you've got him now at your place and you see him in the paddock every day and yes, enjoy he loves having it. him around. Yes, I love having him at home. I love having him go out in the grass every day. I'm very lucky to have grass at home and it's really wonderful just having him home and being able to give him lots of carrots and <laughs> and I get He's to a and the nice thing is too I also get to ride him. So it's really oh wow how super. fantastic yeah it's really super sally she's gets better the... at the ones than i am <laughs> <laughs> super, sally's super busy uh, as you know she's doing vet, vet science yep. and um so and she works as well so um yeah there's the times when sally's so busy and she just said 
you need to ride him. I can't <laughs> ride him for a few days. And I love it. I, that's why. That's I, fantastic. It's, it's so enjoyable to me. Yeah, it's, that's, so, it's that's great. Really cool. And because he's so well trained, it's just so much fun. Yeah, it's, it is fantastic. It's so good to see you. And, and I mean, the horse looks really happy and solid. And I mean, all the schooling that's gone into him has been absolutely fantastic. And now you're reaping the benefits of all that schooling as well and now gaining experience. And yes. also, yes. you're really developing a great partnership with him. I think that I've been very, very lucky to learn from such a well-trained horse and to have seen a lot of his training throughout his life as well. Um, he teaches me so much every day, so I'm very lucky to be learning from one of the funniest, nicest horses <laughs> cheeky. in the country. Very cheeky, very today cheeky. Today he was great at the Grand Prix. He, he finished third today, a yes, really good did. score. Yes. Um, I think maybe the, without sort of stepping out of line, I think the scores were a little bit tough. I think I, I really enjoyed Donna Elena's test. Mm -hmm. I really enjoyed the, the, your yeah. test. It was, a, it was, there were some really good horses and they're all coming along better and better and better. It's yeah. amazing, but I just think sometimes the mark could just be a little bit high, but we all, we all, we all say like that. that, don't we? Yeah, as a judge, we, we like them. We'd like to give We'd lots of high like scores. we nice and marks, but that's what motivates us to come exactly. back and, and yeah. try harder and exactly. train harder at home. So. so, so what's next for you guys? Uh, we have nationals. Oh, right. Yeah. That's not so far away. No, oh. it's quite close. It's in yeah. October. Yeah. 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 So we're working towards that. Mm -hmm. Very and then good. Tomorrow, tomorrow Sally will do her first Grand Prix freestyle. Yes. So that'll be all very <laughs> exciting as well. It's all very, it's exciting when it's It's quite amazing to see young. Sally go and do, do those tests and make it look so easy. You, you, you do make it, he, you and he have already struck up a great partnership, huh? Like it's really, yeah. he says to you, come on. And you say, oh, that feels great. And he says, yeah. oh yeah, that's really nice. <laughs> and he, I really, do you believe, do you think that they try for you? I think he's a trier. He just sometimes tries too hard and he gets ahead of me. Lots of people think that when horses get in there and do their stuff, they don't try, they just tick along. But today, watching him out there with you, I got the feeling he said, yeah, he, here we he go. Came, he came to work today. <laughs> he, yeah, he did. He, um, in a, especially in the trot work, he was actually feeling a bit hot, so I just had to kind of sit there and woo and let him let him do what he wanted to do. So Yeah, it was a fantastic job. Well, congratulations. Thank you. And it's really exciting to see him out there doing it with you. It's very and exciting. And it's really happy to, to see you there. as happy <laughs> as an owner enjoying it as well. I'm happy. And, I'm very happy with all my horses. It's yeah. all it's all it's I'm dedicated to horses. I love yep, horses. Yep. Mm. Thanks so much for your time and Thank we'll let you get changed for your presentation great. and congratulations again on a great third. It was really Thank remarkable. You. Thank, Thank you, so you, Roger. Good luck for Thank the future. You. Thanks. So at Tamworth State Championships, we caught up with Shania Madden with a really interesting story. So Shania, whereabouts are you from originally? Where, was your, where were you brought up and where was your family from? Johns River on the mid-north coast in New South Wales. And has your life always been with horses? Majority of it, yes. So you, you learnt to ride as a little kid? Uh, no, I raced motocross up until I was 13. <laughs> <laughs> and then what? And then I, well, I was doing horses during that time also, but then the horses took over. They took priority. From motocross? Yeah. Why the hell would you go from motocross to horses? Well, I needed some sort of horsepower. Yeah, well, surely motocross was more fun. Admittedly, some days. <laughs> okay, so your involvement in horses in the beginning was with stock horses? Yes. Doing? Um... Whilst I was doing school, I was in Pony Club competing my stock horse. Um, I left high school, I graduated from high school and I moved to Gloucester and I was breaking in and training horses for a well-known stud down there at the time. And then the end of last year, I got offered a job with Katina Smith at Coopernook and I decided to take it. So when did you first ride a dressage test? Um, for Katina, January this year. And we're now August. Yeah. And what did you win today? I won the Open Advanced Freestyle. At and the, what percentage? On a 71%. Are you smiling? I am. <laughs> it was absolutely awesome, huh? 
on a horse called BC Romanov. That's a horse of Katina's that yeah. she's given to you to ride and compete on. Yeah. And great opportunity. Absolutely. Can't thank Katina enough. She's great. To think that you rode the first dressage test in January and here you are at the state championships winning with 72%. And that's no, that was a ge genuine, honest score and it was a fantastic test. You know, how many freestyles have you ridden? Uh, this was the second one. <laughs> My first one was at Young Riders and it really did not go very well and it has been updated and changed since. So you're going to get Roman off to Grand Prix? Hopefully one day. We'll I'm wait and see. I'm sure you will. It's a, it's a pleasure to talk to you and it's a pleasure to see you come so far from January to your first test to here a few months later to win with that percentage on a horse that is a great horse but is sensitive and, and not totally uncomplicated. It's great to see young riders coming up through the ranks and especially you and um, good luck for the future. Thank you very much. And we much. hope we see you a whole lot more. Thank you very much. Cheers. Thank you for watching tonight's video recap with Equestrian Life. We'll see you next time.